Yeah. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw these two views of block in isometric, right? This is the elevation, the front elevation, and this is the plan. So this is when you're looking from the side, and this is when you're looking from the top. So the first thing you have to do is to draw your isometric axis. Now let's do that first. Now with the help of my T square and my C square, I will be able to draw the the front, the top this way, right? And I will be able to draw this side this way, and I will be able to move this this way. So these are the isometric axis, the X Y Z axis. Right, and this is our reference point here. Is that again? Is our reference point here? Now the next thing we'll do, let's look at our diagram again. Now we'll start with the elevation, the front elevation here. If you look at it, elevation has two things associated with it. First thing is the length and the height. So if you look at the height here, the total height that we have here is given as what? as 10 plus 4 t that will be 50 and the total length we have here is not written here but it's written in the plan and that is what 90 so the length is 90 the height is 50 so let's do that so the length from this point here is given to be 90 from 0 to 9 is given as 90 and the height is given as what 50 10 plus 40 that give us what 50 right so it's the two parts here then the other aspect let's see now the plan has two things associated with it that is the width and the length right so that means the length of the plan and the length of the elevation are always the same so what about the width the width is given as what as 80 you can see that so I measure the width to be what 80 so if I come here from this point I measure my width which is 80 from 0 to 8 is given as what as 80 right to this point here so what I'll just do here is I'll project these lines up from here I'll project here up this way and also at this point too I'll project up this way now what I use to draw this line here I also use to draw this so if I place my T square my C square this way to get this line this line here I'll move it up also look at that point on the plan I'm going to get this too right I'll turn it the other way around also I'll do the same thing what I used to get the base here I'll move it up here to meet this point and I'll locate here too I also move it also to get to the other point too to locate the other point here right and what I use to get here that again and I'm going to move it to get to that point too so let me just make you see what I'm talking about so if I move this to this point I'll get the other one too I see that so they are all meeting at this point so we've successfully drawn this out now the next thing is to start from the elevation which is this now if you look at this very well it is more of a symmetrical object when you're looking at it from this direction what's at the left hand side of course what's at the right hand side so let us try and get the center of this figure now from the back right i should be able to measure 40 and from the top here, I'll measure 40. That means from the width, I'll get half of the width. And I'll take 40 out of 90 from the length. So this is what I mean here. From this point here, this is the width, which is 80. I'll take half of it, which is what? 40. So I'll measure 40 first. So from 0 to 4 is 40. Right, this is the center here. And from... Behind here, I'm going to take another 40 again, as shown at the top right corner of the screen. So I measure what? 40 here. This is what I have here, right? So in doing that, 
I'll just try and connect all together so that I'll get the center. So if I use what I use to project here, I'll move it and I'll use it to project here also. Right? Let me close here up too. Then I'll turn it. What I use to get here, I'll draw it to touch here. And also to this point too, I'll draw it to touch here. Now if you look this carefully, we've gotten the center of this figure. Right? And that is where we will start to work from. The center. So let's see. Now if you look this closely, I want to draw this shape here. So I'll start from the base. Now this base here is thick. The height of it is what? 10 meter. Right? And it is circling the entire object looking from the plan. Is that okay now? So I'll start with that. So let me do that first. So I'm going to measure 10 millimeter from this point here. Up. This is 10. And I will use it to circle the entire object. And the way I'm looking at it, it is thickened. So thickened from here to this point. And also I'll thicken from here to this point. You only have to take in when you are sure about what you are drawing. So for me also, I'll take in to this point. Then I'll come to this point too. I'm going to take in from here too. And I'll come here also. I'm going to take in from here too. Then I'll close here up. And I'll close here up. Right? So, since I'm not really sure how deep this will go, I'll use front line. Then I'll use front line here too. So, this is where they are meeting. Right now, let me take in here also. So, if I take in here, this is what we have here. Now, if you look at this, this is the center. Don't forget, let me just take that up so you see what I'm talking about. If I just move this to this point, and I'll move this to this point, I'll get another center also. So this we touch the other end here and this also we touch the other end here too so this is one center and this is another center here now if you look at our diagram carefully we discover that there's another shape on this thick figure that I thickened it's thickened round right so this figure here it is not with what I'm seeing here, it is circular, right? That is truncated, it is circular, and it is not touching the body of this thing you're seeing here. So, what I'll do is I discover that the diameter is 70, so I'll take half of the 70, which is 35, right? So, I'll put it this way. So, I'll place at the center, which is this center here, here, and I'll measure 35. I measure 35 from 0 35 here right and I'll place it here I'll mark left down top and what and right so that is where it falls so I'll just use my um my instrument here to just close it up this way first of all I'll come here also I'll close the top and I'll close it up too now close it you have to be very careful so they are meeting at this point here 
and they're making at this point so this is the point here so at the back here this is going up this way faint line first to touch the top you look at the top right corner of the screen this is going up to touch the top and um, this is also that we are going to measure what a height of um let's see let's check the height of the height of 40 40 at this point and 20 at this point so let's do it so this point here and this point here is this point here and this point here so let me just take this up so we'll measure 40 here with my meter rule from 0 to 4 to 0 to 4 around here then 22 here 0 to 2 this to here so let's connect the two of them can you see that connected the two this to this and i'll repeat the same thing all around so if i come here also i'll raise it up a little bit then i'm going to connect from here to here so from here to here same line also i'll move this from here to here too you can easily measure it or you can just use your instrument and connect it together so i brought out the shape out here you look closely now what i will do is if you look at the diagram this shape, shape you see it is circular right so we know that diameter is 70 i'll take 35 and i'll measure in all direction how do i mean I will measure 35 on my meter rule this way. From 0 to this point here is 35. And I will place it at the center here. I will measure this 35, this 35, this 35, and that is also 35. I am going to join the diagonal. The longest diagonal which is this to this passing through the center then i'll connect this point to one of the horizontal line and the same point to one of the vertical line you can see that and they are meeting at this point and at this point so what i'll simply do is to draw my symmetry circle so from this point here where they meet here right i'll trace it to this point to this point here then i'll connect it And I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. This is just faint line. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. So I'm intentionally stopping there because I can just move this to this point here. I'm intentionally stopping there and I'll tell you why. 
Now, the next thing is, aside from the base here, there's another circle on top. We have just two circles, the one at the base and then at the top. So what I'll do is, I'll also get the center of these two. So let's do that and see. So if you measure from here to here, which is also, let me see, 80. Right? I'll call it, looks like um, 80, 84. Right? 84, then I'll claim it's 42 each. So from zero, I'll measure that. This 10, this 40, and this 42 here. Right? So I'll just connect it with this screw to the other point here. Just faint line. Can I see that? And I'll do the same thing here too. I'll measure this from zero to this point here is 70. Right? So I'm going to measure 35. And I'm going to connect it to this point here. Without to measure them differently. Here, then I'll connect this to this point. Now, this is where they are meeting. That is where I will now take my compass and measure 45 45 each. I know that measure, I mean, 35 each. This is the diameter of the, the radius of the circle. So, this 35 here. So, I'll place it at this point here and measure. This is 35, this is 35 here, this is another 35 here, and the other one is already there. So if I do that, I'll just take my meter rule, make sure I'm drawing a parallel line, then I'll draw this to touch here, and I'll draw this also to touch here. So this is what, I'll not draw my diagonal. So the diagonal, the longest one, we're just repeating the same thing. The diagonal, the longest one from this point, through down to this point here. So I'll connect it together. Then from where they meet, where this line meets with this line, right? This, they're meeting here. Can see that? I'll connect it to this point. On that same point, connect to the next point too. I see that. So that is where I wanna draw my circle. So if I come here, I'll place it here and I'll draw this. Right? And if I come here, if I come to the next point too here. I'll be able to get this. Well, let me start with this point where it meets here. And I'll draw my circle this way. Come here too. I'll do the same thing. And I'll come here. And I'll do the same thing. Right. So if I've done that, I'll just connect this diagonal to this diagonal here. And this diagonal to this diagonal here. This is the reason why I didn't complete it there. Right? So I can now close here up. And also close here up. So this is what we actually have so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching